I want to make a note about the Lewis structure of HNO3. If you watch the video, you'll see that we needed to move a pair of electrons that was previously unshared by oxygen to be shared with the nitrogen. That way nitrogen would satisfy the octet rule, having eight electrons around. We chose to move them from this oxygen here. You could have just as easily chosen for them to come off of this oxygen here, in which case you would get this Lewis structure. These are equivalent Lewis structures and they are both acceptable. Because they're both acceptable and because the only difference is a, p a pair of electrons being shared here become unshared and these shared electrons become shared here. We just have a bit of an electron movement. These two are called resonance structures. Resonance structures both exist in a mixture of HNO3. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like that. Now, the way that we show that on a Lewis structure, if they ask you to show all resonance structures, is to draw out the two Lewis diagrams and simply draw a double-sided arrow in between them. That shows that it can easily switch from here to here, back here to here to here, and that when you have a molecule of HNO3, it's hard to know which of these molecules and Lewis structures is actually the acceptable form.